Located in Indiana, PA, Blackwood Creek is a hiker's and fisherman's paradise. But what's in the water might surprise you. A study done by Duke University in 2010 through 2012 found high levels of bromide, chloride, and radium in the Blackwood Creek watershed. These chemicals are believed to be the result of fracking, a term used to describe the extraction of natural gas. Climate change and sediment expert from Indiana University of Pennsylvania, Dr. Steve Hoven, explains what fracking is. Fracking is the process of injecting mostly fluids, sometimes gases, and a mixture of other chemicals and elements down into a drill hole, into a formation to, to, to force cracks into it. Fracking has caused debate on its environmental impacts. This water here at the Blacklift Creek tested positive for radioactive chemicals. Although regulations have been changing to more efficiently extract hazardous chemicals, Hoven said they might be found in water samples in the future. And so that's going to be around for, for a long time. It may get buried in the sediments, it may get mobilized by some of the biological activity, it may get included into the, the, the ecosystem. Um, from that, but um, in my opinion, I think maybe something should be done more about that right now. Residential exposure to the radioactive water isn't completely ruled out. Dave Yoxheimer, hydrogeologist at Penn State Extension, offers some advice to homeowners about the likelihood of contamination. Whether there's an exposure pathway, and so what that means is you need to have a source of contamination, perhaps the discharge from the plant, uh, a pathway for that contamination to get into somebody's body, whether you're drinking it or breathing in fumes. Some scientists that conducted the study were surprised by the high level of radioactivity in the water, and they weren't the only ones. You know, one of the concerns I would have is there's a lot of fishermen that, that fish downstream from these, and, yeah. and we don't really know where that radon is going yet. And, no. And so I can tell you this is I won't be eating any trout out of those streams. Reporting for the Center County Report, I'm Molly Cochran.